Hey guys, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you that the iPod Nano 6th generation actually does have an accelerometer. And I checked on Apple's website for this and um, I couldn't find anything that said it does. So, they guess they like, lied that it said it didn't have an accelerometer or anything. And so basically this, for proof, I'm going to get into the secret iPod menu that everyone knows about, so it's not really secret. And it, I'm going to show you that there is an accelerometer in it, but... I have to put the camera down for this, so hold on. And if you don't know how to do it, you just hold down the volume buttons and the sleep button at the same time until the Apple logo pops up, or until it goes into the thing. Okay, so now on the console, or whatever you want to call it, and then use the volume buttons to control. And I don't know if you can see that, but right there, second one up, from the bottom, it says Excel, which stands for accelerometer, and then you click sleep to accept, um, test, or it says Excel XYZ, um, click it again, and then look at that, start showing all these numbers saying that there's an accelerometer in there. See, there you go, now you can see a test accelerometer right there at the top of the screen have the iPod screen. There's all the numbers, so it actually does have an accelerometer in it. But I don't know why you have to use your, like your fingers to go like that and swipe and turn the screen so you can go like that. I don't know. I think Apple should make an update enabling this so you can um, turn accelerometer on and off. Because I know people might use this for like running and like they're shaking around and stuff, and it could send it crazy and everything. But Mm, that's why you should have a toggle switch for it. Like, that's what Apple should do, I think. What do you guys think? Comment below. Thanks for watching. Peace.